And so the parabola continues, Bitcoin setting up for another potentially massive move. And the question now becomes, is the target area truly somewhere near 13,000? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the savagery we're seeing inside the chart right now. Our infamous crypto holiday is back. Merry Wickmas, Candle Claws is coming to town. We've seen an absolute destruction and rejection at the 11,200 vicinity twice. But my friends, is this going to be enough to contain the beast of the parabolic action, good old BTC? Are we going to see a retracement here? Or is this setting up for another massive bullish leg to the upside here, in my opinion? So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, let's begin right here on the one hour time frame. I just want to be here on a zoomed in time frame to really show you guys what I'm I'm seeing here in terms of the upward sloping support that's being built. So all the way back for our first test at over 11,000, we went up and we had a huge rejection wick down. This was our first retracement here on this whole parabolic move. So we stuck in our first low, right? We retried, we had this wick get bought up, the, the parabola tried to continue. We sold off here again. But the important thing was that this wick here was higher than the prior. Then we ran up again, sold off. These lows, higher than the previous, ran up again, got rejected at the 11,200 region, sold off. And again, we have another series of higher lows. Now, we have created some lower highs here as well, right? We didn't test up to 11,200 this time, but we still are maintaining our higher low trajectory here. You guys see the trend, right? We just keep forming higher low after higher low after higher low. And right now we are getting to this boiling point here where we're starting this curve here again. And what you guys know is that we've seen these curves now all throughout this trend. These moves have been parabolic in hockey stick pattern formations. And right now, uh, you know, these moves have been very prevalent here with this type of curve. And I'm seeing here that this has the chance here to be another one of these moves, in my opinion, uh, we have kept this upward sloping support trajectory, and now the the lows are actually getting to a point where we're not even respecting the trend line anymore. We're beginning to move more so in a potential parabolic fashion. Now, what are, what are we looking at here, right? Well, to me, this looks clearly like a bull flag, right? We've seen multiple bull flags here on this trend, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This was the hidden one, right? That Don Don Carbonaccio pointed out for everybody that subscribed here. I said, my friends, I see a potentially hidden pattern here that nobody else is talking about, and I'm going to play it to the upside if we break this level, right? Soon as I post it, all the little moon boy Carbonaccio clones posting it for themselves. Oh, you see the hidden pattern? everybody whoops it just popped into my mind now i didn't watch Curbinaccio do it i promise and then ladies and gentlemen we broke out right to the upside right this is my flagpole here we broke out consolidated in another range don don pointed it out again said ladies and gentlemen i believe we're forming yet another bull flag so let's extrapolate our flagpole over we break out 
and where do we go, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan, the extrapolated measure move hit to an absolute T. Now, what do I see that we could be forming here yet again? My friends, this to me looks like a classic ascending triangle pattern formation in the midst of a bullish parabolic uptrend. Let's get this crypto. I see that we are forming these higher lows. The trajectory is being kept. We have two distinct highs here at 11,200. And if we are able to test this level yet again and purge the $11,200 region, ladies and gentlemen, it may just in fact be grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo-ho-ho. -ho. Let's get this crypto. All these little bears. Oh, dang, dang. Carbonagia, do you, do you think that we might crash down? What'd you say to me, James? Dang, dang. Carbonagia. It's Don Don Carbonaccio, James. And this here right now, in my opinion, looks to me like we may just have to take another measured move with a flagpole up to where we first had our consolidation. Let's change this. We'll make this uh, teal so we could see it. And let's clone it over and see where our measured move puts us if we are to break out from this ascending triangle pattern formation. We'll zoom out here. And ladies and gentlemen, this to me starts to put us up in the potential $13,000 region with the extrapolated measured move taking us to about 12900 What's also very interesting for me here is this Fibonacci, the 0.618 golden Fibonacci. This is our extension here, lining up at about the $13,500 region here on my chart. Now, there is going to be some work to get there, right? This is not going to be easy. But Bitcoin right now has been absolutely parabolic. The trend is going to be my friend until it's not, right? Uh, I've explained this in the past. This bearish trend here, right? The bear market. I continued to play this with a bearish bias over and over and over and over again because the trend was my friend till it wasn't, right? I did continue to short down here as well. Why? Because the trend was my friend till it wasn't. And soon as we broke this, this overhead ceiling of resistance here, the trend changed for me. And ever since this region, Don Don Carbonaccio has been long, right? Now, Let's discuss what's going on in here, right? Because uh, you guys know, shout out to my VIPs. You guys know um, some of my large trades here recently was my long position from 8417. As I pointed out, when I saw this ascending triangle here, I took a long of the breakout right here. And then again, I took this long here at 9414. This was a breakout of this potential bull flag, which worked out immensely. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm preparing for my next market moves. As you can see right now, this is how I'm playing this level. I actually posted uh, this VIP alert earlier. Shout out to my VIPs. Uh, what I what I had done here, right, was I placed a ladder of of long positions that if we, we found a little bit of a sell-off like we've been getting, right, something more along the lines of this, I was going to be looking for my orders to be filled here. Uh, you could see that these are blacked out right now because this is exclusive VIP content. Uh, and if you would like to see all of my real-time trade alerts, all of my plans and my strategies that I'm using here uh, to potentially crush this market, you can get those from me in VIP. Shout out to my VIPs and all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. Uh, but you can see here, I set up a series of longs. So if the price drops, I'm looking to get filled, right? Something like this, where I would have longs, 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 and get filled upon a dump, looking to potentially keep this upward sloping support intact and then look to rip to new highs. On the contrary, also here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, per classical technical analysis theory, if this pattern is going to, to play out bullishly to the upside, a confirmation of the pattern is more so a break of that flat line of resistance along the top, which is roughly, you know, uh, a momentum, a momentum area would be above 11,300 ish, right? Ballpark. Uh, but for me right now, uh, I'm looking at this even more so that I'm playing this a little extra aggressively right now. As you can see here, I've already had one of my long orders filled uh, and I'm long right now. And I'm also looking to 
uh, potentially take on more longs here because I'm loving this upward sloping support. Uh, of course, if we do break above this level, I may potentially look to add more to my position as well as we may be looking for another extrapolated measured move to the upside. Uh, this is just just my own observations here, ladies and gentlemen. This is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions and speculative hypotheses here on the market. I'm not your financial advisor, and I'll never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Uh, for me right now, the trend is at the boiling point because these double tops can be very, very nasty, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of rejection points, right? This uh, is a classic a classic sign here of, of potential trend exhaustion, although it does not have to be, right? Uh, and there's some examples of this where we've seen in the past here that we've had this and it wound up uh, continuing to play out, right? Right in this vicinity, we had it, we had a minor sell off here and then a boom, right? Uh, and even if you want to count this one over here as well. Uh, so for me right now, the trend is going to continue to be my friend until it isn't. Uh, yesterday, I wound up uh, taking a long in here upon this breakout. Uh, I was I was feeling great, right? Things were moving up and then Mary Wickmas, right? Wound up getting a little bit stopped out in here for a very, very micro loss. I was playing it with a very tight stop loss and then I changed my strategy. This is why uh, there was no stream from me yesterday because as I was streaming, funny story, uh, we had this immaculate sell off, right? Uh, I was doing the stream, uh, things were moving along, I was outlining my strategy and then all of a sudden, boom, I had to change my strategy on the fly, right? Uh, and now uh, I formulated what I wanted to do here. I have my longs, my long ladder in place. And also, shout out to my VIPs, I also have a speculative other play uh, to the downside here if this trend does start to lose momentum. Uh, because like I always say, ladies and gentlemen, if you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. You have to have plans in both directions, right? So right now, sure, I have my long ladder here that I'm speculating to the upside with. But on the contrary, I also have a potential short play lined up here if we are going to fall out of this formation. And I am going to be keeping you all updated in VIP with those plans and all future plans that I formulate and all of my entries, exits, targets, take profits, etc. It's all posted for you in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be taking that trip to Rec City. Don't be walking down Liquidation Boulevard with Average Joe and James at the water cooler on these types of dumps, right? Many people getting wrecked, ladies and gentlemen. Don Don Carbonaccio does not plan on getting wrecked here. Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And right now, I see that this trend could be lining up for some serious action. I want to look over here as well at the weekly time frame to get a more broad perspective. I also want to take a look at the crypto fear and greed index, Google trends, etc, etc. So let's move right along, my friends. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Let's begin here with the weekly. We'll go over here flip this on and I want to point out something of interest for me here and this is the RSI on the weekly time frame let's get this pulled up here perfect here we are and what's what's very interesting for me ladies and gentlemen is that we could see the beginning here of a potential bearish divergence on the weekly RSI now the weekly is obviously a very long time frame to be looking at which you know theoretically makes the information you're receiving more concrete, right? It, the, the longer the time frame, the better information, the more data is crunched into what you're looking at. So for me, if we do start to fail here, right, which we have, I just outlined the case for a potential double top. Uh, and if we do start to decline here, uh, or retest up to this level, yet the RSI continues to have negative momentum here on the weekly, right? And we continue to slope downwards. This could be an indication for me uh, that we are going to look to, to test back down a little bit for a retracement. Uh, you guys see what I'm seeing here. This is only the very beginnings of this, but we are in oversold territory at about a 78 right now at the time of recording. 
Uh, we all know 70 begins overbought territory. So we are overbought right now. Uh, and, and my friends, what I'm seeing is the potential for something like this to happen. Uh, but but when you look at this and, and just keep the RSI out of it, this trend is so super parabolic right now. And we are still maintaining this area of a candle body above last week's close, which right now is exactly what you want to see from a bullish perspective. Uh, we tested right up to this 0.5 Fibonacci. And my friends, if we do break through that level and we do look to extrapolate that flag pull up, that 0.615, excuse me, that 0.618 Fibonacci there uh, is a real, real big move, right? That would be over 20% to the upside if the bulls are going to test that level. Uh, if if not, right, uh, I would expect that we probably would see a very vicious, vicious sell-off, uh, something that's just going to you know, wipe out many traders, especially the over leveraged ones to potentially cause a cascading waterfall, just an absolute destruction candle. Uh, I do believe that is coming at some point, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, something more so along the lines of a candle like this here, this red one, I believe that that is going to come at some point in the future. But, uh, you know, until that happens, I'm still seeing my bullish thesis intact here as the trend is my friend until it isn't. And I'm going to be setting up trades here for me uh, in both directions, right? If this looks bullish, I'm going to stay bullish now. But if it breaks bearishly, uh, you know, then there's going to be a play for me either to the downside or to do more so along the lines of a ladder, like over here, et cetera, et cetera. I plan for every scenario. Uh, if you don't do that, how are you going to succeed, right? Just really look yourself in the mirror and say, if I don't have a plan for every scenario, how am I going to succeed? It's just, it's common sense, right, ladies and gentlemen? And these, these moon boys, ladies and gentlemen, these degenerates, they couldn't play a trombone and walk on two feet at the same time if they tried. I try and tell them all the time, ladies and gentlemen, you want to climb to the highest peak on the highest mountain, yet you can't even stand on top of an anthill, James? This is the problem in this space, ladies and gentlemen. Many degenerates... They feel the pain of Liquidation Boulevard. They take that trip to Rec City. Don Don Carbonaccio has been choo-choo-chewing with the conductor of the Parabolic Express all the way up from 8417, all the way up from 9414. And the Parabolic Express appears to me, ladies and gentlemen, that this may still have some juice left in the tank. And if there is, hoo -hoo -hoo, Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to ride this baby all night long. And the thing with these streams, ladies and gentlemen, right? They go, oh, Don Don, what do you say, oh, Don? They either like it or they don't like it. But either way, they better learn to love it because this is the best thing going in the cryptocurrency space today. Let's get this crypto. I'm fired up. Sheesh. Let's look at the crypto fear and greed index. So what we see right now, we've been heavily overextended here, but in a parabolic uptrend, you do want to see this overextended in my opinion, because as this remains overextended here, this gives me the, the idea that the parabola can continue, right? I'd actually be more fearful. It's weird. This is usually a contrarian indicator, right? But for me, I'm almost reading it as pure, like an organic, right? An organic view for me here, where right now I actually want to see the greed remain high because I don't believe the parabola can continue if we go into fearful territory. That's just my own opinion on that. But for me right now, it's actually a little bit bizarre. I want to see the fear, or excuse me, I want to see the greed remain extremely high here as this for me keeps the... the chance for parabola to remain intact. Capiche? Also here on the Google Trends data, an interesting observation for me is that we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This this market cap here is savage. We're we're at over a 300 billion dollar market cap right now. And don't forget at the height of the bubble, right? In in 2017, 
or early, this is January 7, 2018. The market cap was 813 billion. So we're back almost nearly to 50% of where we were at the height of the bubble. Yet let's look at the Google Trends data here, right? We're at a relative 17, where at that time, we were at a 100, right? So essentially right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are an 83% uh, difference from that time compared to where we are at now. And even if you chopped that in half, right, to, to be more so at where we are, that would be more like a, like a 50, right? And we're only at essentially 17. Uh, so however you want to cut it, right, even if you said that, uh, you know, we're 40%, so this would be 40, we're still very, very low here compared to where we were and the type of action we saw in the interest on Google Trends back in that parabolic bubble. So for me, you can look at this in two ways, right? It really depends how you personally want to look at it. One, that this action is just more so the same capital that's been in here this whole time, and this is ju just a bunch of uh, malarkey, right, in here, and what we're seeing is that this is the same capital just being sloshed around and pushing this higher and higher with leverage, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, or you can look at this from the contrary, uh, that maybe it's not in, uh, unstable with the same funds being sloshed around, but maybe it's more so along the lines that this is just getting us started here and that what we could expect is that as this continues to rise, as the price continues to rise, maybe we start to see a, a significant influx here on the, the Bitcoin search volume on Google Trends, and then we really start to get this ball rolling. Uh, it's just an interesting observation here. I'm not looking too much into it. It's really just however you want to look at it. To me right now, I'm more so on the side of caution with this, as I do believe, as I just stated earlier, that I am under the impression, ladies and gentlemen, that we are going to have a significant, significant crocodile tooth uh, pullback at some point in this trend. The trend is my friend until it isn't. Maybe it's not my friend after the 0.618 Fibonacci, right? Maybe it's not my friend uh, very soon. Maybe it's not my friend until, you know, that up there at the 0.786, some, you know what I mean? Uh, it's too early for me to judge. I'm not going to sit here and rub the crystal ball for you, James, and, and make these heinous predictions. Oh, but, you know, Kirby, I saw some analyst and he said eh, the world is going to crumble and the economy is going to collapse and then we're going to the moon. That, my friends, is is out. <laughs> that is out of my realm of of expertise. For me, it's all about the charts. It's about realistic expectations, controlling what I can control, and that for me is looking for high reward, low risk trade setups, looking for plays that allow me, that allow Don 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 Carbonaccio to crush this market and get this crypto. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, for me, I believe I've outlined here what I'm seeing as a next potential massive move. If we fall below this upward sloping trajectory, things could get very, very interesting. And like I said, if it does, I'm also going to be taking plays. I've posted my alternate uh, potential bearish setup for my VIPs as well, if you want to see that. I have it posted for you all in VIP. If we break out to the upside, you guys know I'm laddered here long, and also I may be looking for more momentum plays if we break out above. If this is the case, right, I'm also going to be updating my stop losses. You have to protect capital, ladies and gentlemen, right? I've seen way too many people crying to Don Don, right? They want my shoulder to cry on, ladies and gentlemen. Don Don Carbonaccio does not provide a shoulder for those who do not plan in advance. Because if you plan in advance, you always wind up on the better end if your plan works out, right? For me, right, when this dump occurred from the first attempt at 11,000, uh, I had stop losses right, uh, all the way up through here, right? Sure, we wound up climbing back up there later on, but what if we didn't, right? What if this candle took us all the way back down, right? That's what these moon boys also don't get caught up in this mentality. This is good. This is a little tangent that I'm going on now, but this is this is gold here for you to understand, all right? So I got stopped out from longs all throughout here, right? For profit, big, big profit. My profits all the way from down here and here, right? I got stopped out on a bunch of them in here. 
These moon boys. Oh, Kirby, well, well, couldn't you just have hodled Kirby and then, and then look, it went all the way back up there. You, you don't know this at the time, right? This could have been a parabolic blow-off top that took us all the way back down. So by me stopping out in here and then re-entering where I feel is, is good to, to get back in, uh, I protected my profits in here, right? You don't know that we're going to retest this area. So if this candle just took us all the way down, you you would have been absolutely annihilated if you didn't protect your capital and move your stop losses up in, into profit in here, right? And then no moon boy would be crying to me, telling me, ha ha, Kirby, look at you, Kirby, get wrecked, get wrecked. Yeah, I, I, I got wrecked for, for what, 30% 30, 30 to the upside, James? Yeah, let's get this crypto. I'll continue to get inverse wrecked like that, James. If 30% to the upside is getting wrecked for you, James, and locking in my profits with a trailing stop loss, then I'll take this trip to wrecked city all night long, my friend. Let's get this crypto. Diamonds are forever, and so is Don Don Carbonaccio. Sheesh. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I've got the battle helmet on the mud boots and the trench coat and I'm ready to get this crypto. I'm going to be keeping you all updated in VIP with every single trade I make, ladies and gentlemen. Every entry, every plan, every strategy, every take profit that I formulate, I'm going to be posting it for you in absolute real time. Do not be taking that trip to Rec City. Do not be taking that walk down Liquidation Boulevard. It's time to transform yourself from Average Joe into Savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'm ready to crush this market. Are you? Let's get this crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. And guys, if you could, one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm going to be trading this aggressively, so I will see you all in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. Guys, until next time, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.